And when I when I say that, I mean they have lanes one, two, seven, and eight. Right. It's almost like they have a double bun burger on there. Right. The <laughs> which I shouldn't talk about. I'm kind of hungry Me right too. now. Me too. But the, um, Greer Miller College also has a, a pair running in this as well. Yep. They are in lanes four and six. You have St. Joseph's in lane three and Central in lane five. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. So Philip Simmons High School, you can see a lot of their runners in the purple and black tops. Greer Middle College with the navy blue tops and red shorts. You have Central in the red top. And St. Joseph's is out there somewhere as well. We may actually not have St. Joseph's out there right now, I think. Uh, it didn't look like from the beginning of the race that we had St. Joseph out there, but Noah Ward already establishing uh, a lead. He's away from the pack. He is setting the tone early, that's for sure. And his teammate right behind him in second place, Central High School in third, followed by Greer Middle College Charter in fourth and fifth. Right now it is Noah Ward working as the pace marker for this 1,600 meter event. Don't know if everybody saw that at home, but uh, somebody at the high jump took a little tumble <laughs> on the other side. Looks like his teammate, Henry Wood, trying to catch up to him. But Noah has the upper hand right now. How about this? I, you can't see this too often. Two competitors from the game school in first and second place in an event. Yeah. It's great for the team that right there with uh, first place being 10 points and second place being 8 points, that's 18. That gives, you know, that's super boost for the for as far as team scores are concerned. And it does something for the morale of the team knowing that uh, you have two competitors off the same team finishing top in, the, in their event. Philip Simmons in first, second, sixth, and seventh place. Greer Middle College Charter in third and fourth with Central in fifth. And right now, Noah Ward is just about all by himself in first place. <laughs> and if I'm Henry Wood in second place, if I get anywhere close to Noah, I I'm torn between telling him, go, 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 and let me pass you. Correct. But Noah Ward of Philip Simmons High School, he is really moving. You can see him lapping one of his teammates. Maybe sharing a brief word of encouragement on his way around him, maybe not. Philip Simmons High School still in second place as well. Greer Middle College Charter remaining their position in third and fourth. This is like a literal runaway for Noah. He has almost a full 100 meters just about between himself and the second place competitor. It's, it's pretty close to that. You can see the wide shot of our track here. Noah on the far left of the screen and Henry Wood in second place just barely on the edge of the right side of your screen. And Noah kicks it into another gear coming down the track. He is certainly all about finishing strong. And that's why this event is is being kind of reclassified as mid-distance versus distance. Um, especially when you've competed on the collegiate level, the 1600 is not considered to be a super distant event because of this right here, you can see the sprinting coming through the line of all these finishes. It takes a sprint at the end. And Philip Simmons did take second place 
as well. Greer Middle College Charter took third and fourth. Central is in fifth. Still waiting on Philip Simmons to officially take sixth and seventh place, although there's nobody else left in the race, so it will have to be them. So what a showing from Noah Ward of Philip Simmons High School. Closing out our 1,600-meter events with a win for Philip Simmons High School. So the event winners in order for the 1,600 meters for the Class A girls, Dixie High School, the Class 2A girls, St. Joseph's, Class A men, Southside Christian, and the Class 2A men, Philip Simmons. Now we move from the 1600 meter event to the 400 meter event for the Class A girls. One of my favorite events. Uh, I just feel like the amount of athleticism that it takes to run the 400 is um, phenomenal. It's a great training tool, I believe, for any uh, sport. We will have a couple of competitors who have already run won races so far today competing in this Class A girls 400 meter dash highlighted by Khadijah Smoke who of course won the 100 meter dash earlier that was the well, that was the drama filled 100 meter dash right it the, was yeah. a couple of false starts some waiting between the first running of the event and, and the second running, which ended up counting the second time around. Right. And she has the favored lane in lane four, so she's coming in with that that number one time. You also may be able to see on your screen a portion of the pole vaulting event that is currently taking place. <laughs> 